Well, we have three different components to the lighting team here at Sight & Sound. We have the dimmer board operator who basically functions as the master control of the lighting system. The follow spot operators are up on the catwalks. They're about 60 feet above the audience. It's a 300 foot wraparound stage. And so it can be pretty easy to lose where the actors are at that moment. So the six of us use 11 different follow spots and it's our job to light up which actors are speaking at that moment. Then there's the deck electricians who work backstage and their primary purpose is to plug and unplug set pieces, help move set pieces. Uh, we are in charge of lighting towers, uh, plugging the majority of the set pieces. We actually do some follow spotlighting from the floor when, when there's a flight. Very fast pace and again, it has to be consistent the same way every day. Our stage management is incredible. It just wouldn't be possible without them. The basis of my job is to keep the show up and running. Like if you look at the human body and how the brain sends out um, messages to all the nerves and makes everything move, that's what my job is. Ramps go, standby tabs left two through four, tabs right two through three out, village flats out, deck moves, trees one and two to position one and center ramp flat wing clear. Left tab standing back. Right tab standing back. To be a stage manager, you have to be calm, cool and collected. Photo text. You have to be able to multitask as well as being quick thinking. If you're afraid to make decisions and you want somebody else to do it, like you shouldn't be in this position because you're constantly making decisions every day, sometimes on the fly, and you can't second guess yourself.